Dr. Cortex, we haven't determined the cause of past failures. <laughs> Moron! This bandicoot will be my general. He will lead my Cortex commandos to world domination. This time, I shall reign triumphant. <laughs> We are closer than ever before! Quickly! Into the Vortex! <laughs> Dr. Cortex! <laughs> the Vortex is not ready! We have no idea what it could do! <laughs> Failure again! <laughs> Capture him! Prepare the female bandicoot.
I am really confused on how I got those two gems because I clearly died on the levels you can get them and yet somehow I still got them. If anyone has ever come across that before, um, I have no idea how that happened. So,
Darn you, Crash Bandicoot! <laughs> 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 Darn you, Crash Bandicoot! <laughs> Darn you, Crash Bandicoot! Crash Bandicoot! Darn you, Crash Bandicoot!
It's Crash Bandicoot 2! <laughs> Crystals, of course. No! But Dr. Cortex, to reach full power, we need not only your master crystal, but also the remaining 25 slave crystals from the surface. How do you expect to retrieve them when we don't have any Earthbound operatives left? You fool! Do you think I'm unaware of the situation? If we don't have any friends left on the surface, then we'll need to find an enemy. <laughs> Battery is fried. Make yourself useful, big brother, and bring an extra battery for me. If it isn't Crash Bandicoot, welcome. I apologize for the crude means used to bring you here, but I'd rather expect a written invitation would have been turned down. I need your help. Surrounding you are a series of five doors. Through each door lies a well-hidden crystal. The crystals look like this. Bring me the crystals, Crash. That is all I will say for now. We will speak again.
Done, Crash. I knew I could rely on you. Now listen carefully. These holograms are hard to maintain. During the course of my intellectual pursuits, I have stumbled across a force that threatens to destroy the world. The crystals are the only means of containing it. The fate of the world is at stake. It is imperative, therefore, that you bring them to me. Are you there, Crash? Are you there, Crash?
So, you are helping Cortex gather crystals, yet you have acquired a gem. Interesting. <laughs> well, Crash, <laughs> know this. As long as you are allied with Cortex, you are my sworn enemy, and I will do anything in my power to stop you. <laughs> if the fate of the world is truly your concern, you must gather the gems, not the crystals. If you obtain all 42 gems, I can use them to fulfill Focus a laser! Ah, yes, a laser beam that will destroy Cortex and the space station he has created. Until then, I must use my forces to stop you from gathering crystals! <laughs> Thank you.
Three crystals. Not bad. I see you are getting the hang of it. I need to conserve power. I will communicate with you again after you retrieve the fifth crystal.
<laughs> I see that Ripper Roo failed to prove much of a challenge yet again. But back to business. There are crystals to be gathered. Twenty to be exact. The planets will align shortly, all thirteen of them. And this will create a power great enough to rip the Earth apart. Properly utilized, however, the crystals can absorb and contain the energy. Crash, is that you? I've been looking everywhere. I don't have much time to tell you this. You have to be careful. Trusting Cortex seems a little unwise, Crash. I can't keep the data path open much longer. Crash, you need to find...
Ten of twenty-five crystals. You're on your way. I'm running low on power, so communication from this point will be difficult. Remember, I'm counting on you. Good show, Crash. The Komodo brothers obviously lacked your metal. But now's not the time to get cocky. There are still many crystals to obtain. Remember, the world is counting on you.
Fresh, thank goodness! I hacked into Cortex's computer and found detailed schematics for an improved Cortex Vortex and a suspicious looking space station. I'm not sure, but Cortex might be trying to...
crash, my boy. You are more than halfway there. But I'm sure you've noticed that things are getting harder. The last ten crystals will be the hardest to gather, and my... <coughs> our enemies will be sending their strongest forces to thwart you. I'll contact you again when you have completed the next warp room.
discovered that the opposition is being masterminded by Dr. Nitrous Brio, the inventor of the Evolvo Ray. Brio was responsible for our misunderstandings in the past. He forced me to assist him in his plot for world domination, and he's at it again. He will attempt to stand in our way. Be on your guard, Crash. Deliver the crystals to Engine!
your problem, Bandicoot! I will not ask you again to bring me the crystals! Obtain the remaining five crystals, Crash, and bring them to me! Oh, <laughs> 
<laughs> yes! My plan is nearly complete. And I have you, Crash Bandicoot, to thank for it. Engine! What's happening? What's that? Is she stealing our signal? Crash, Cortex isn't gonna use the crystals to contain the planet's energy. He's gonna harness the force and use it to power the Super Cortex Vortex he's built on his space station. One blast and the ray will cover the entire world, turning everyone into Cortex's mindless slaves. Crash, don't let him have those crystals! Engine, you fool! She's telling him everything! Oh, yes, we're, uh, we're, we're back now. Pardon the, uh, interruption. Crash, bring me crystals! The last of me, Crash Bandicoot. And what about the Cortex Vortex? It's still up there. Crash Bandicoot War!
At last! Uka Uka is free? No, it cannot be. Evil, great evil has come. Uka-Uka! It was that infernal bandicoot! From deep inside my devil prison, I sent you simple instructions to follow. But you lost the gems, you lost the crystals, and I have lost my patience! There is now no other power source left on this planet! I know we've had a few unfortunate... Setbacks. And fail! But since your fumbling has managed to set me free, I am feeling generous. There is still a way to amass the power needed to enslave this miserable planet. And this time, this time, the great Uka Uka will make sure that you do it right! After many eons, my evil twin brother, Uka Uka, has been freed from his underground prison. Long ago, I locked him there to protect the world from his malice. Now, free once again, he must be stopped. Children. Uka Uka and Cortex plan to use this time-twisting machine to gather crystals that may scattered across time. I have brought you here to recover the crystals before they do. To open the time portal, simply stand on a button and then jump into the portal. Good luck. Crash, crash, crash. Why must you always muck in my mud? Oh, look! I have a mask helping me, too. We will find out which one is more powerful soon enough.
Well done, children. By defeating Tiny, you have unlocked the gate to the next time travel area. Go back to the center of this time twister and save your progress if you wish. From there, you will see that the gate to the second time travel area is now open. He hated everyone and everything, but a good heart nonetheless. Please be more reasonable with my minions next time.
Dingle dials the name, and Uka Uka and Cortex gave me orders to bring the crystals to them during the Ice Ages. So give me the goods and shove off, or I'll roast you.
Now you've gone and done it. Them crystals are mine. Break out the butter!
haven't we gotten far for a pair of fuzzy marsupials? I am Dr. Nefarious Trope, master of time and the creator of the very time twister machine you see before you. Uka Uka and Dr. Cortex have sent me to end this little charade. So you won't be leaving my area with the crystals, I swear it!
So, you pesky little rats aren't going to back off, eh? Just you continue to gather crystals and see what I do.
Well, you've crashed a few parties before, but I never expected you to make it this far. If you don't turn back... I will put a thousand years of suffering on you and the entire universe!
little vermin are way too stupid to understand what you're getting yourselves into. This time, you've done it! Time, you little skunk! Give me the crystal! Insignificant morons! By defeating Enzabi, you have placed us all in grave danger! <sighs> Crash, Coco, you must realize that this time twister machine is very delicate. Without Dr. Entropy's constant care and control, who knows what it will do?
next one for me to teach you a lesson. Well, I made a few modifications to my mechanics since our last encounter. <laughs> so back off or be deleted!
to go a few rounds. When this is over, we'll see who is obsolete. It's funny how history repeats itself. Yet again, Engine has failed to defeat you. <laughs> what? For this we must destroy you! <coughs> oh, my aching head. I'm not feeling myself these days. So, the end is in sight. Gather another five crystals, and again you will befoil my plan. Or will you?
Crash, Coco, remember, it is not only Dr. Cortex that we battle. Beware of Uka Uka, my children. He is a far more dangerous enemy than anyone can imagine.
<laughs> I'm sorry. This is the part where I'm supposed to be angry, full of rage, incensed beyond belief. Once again, you have outsmarted and outspun my best henchmen. I should be rather upset, shouldn't I? And in fact, we're furious! But it seems you have overlooked one small detail, you little orange delivery boy. Now that you have gathered all the crystals, all we have to do is take them from you! Flash Bandicoot for the last time! Give the crystals to me! It again. This is not fair. Maybe I should retire to a nice big beach with a nice big drink and a woman with nice big bags of ice for my head. It's not over, Bandicoot. There are still the gems. We still have a chance to triumph. <laughs>
Thank <laughs> you.